A recent report from the United Nations predicted that average global temperature could increase by 6 Celsius at the end of the century. Climate change has an adverse effect on the environment and ecosystem. An old man is full of experiences and even though experiences are of immense help to the younger generation, he is taken as an unwanted burden. He himself is caught in a terrible feeling of redundancy, thinking of old age visions of loneliness and neglect emerge in mind. One in three women around the world experiences physical or sexual violence in her lifetime. This means that approximately one billion women are affected by this issue. Rape, domestic violence, sexual assault, and murder are the most prevalent types of violence against women. Exercise is one of the healthy lifestyles which contributes to optimum health and quality of life. People who exercise regularly can reduce their risk of death. By doing exercise, 
active people increase their life expectancy by two years compared to inactive people. Regular exercise and good physical fitness enhance the quality of life in many ways. Physical fitness and exercise can help us to look good, feel good, and enjoy life. To understand the concept of global warming and its causes and effects, we need to take an in-depth look into many factors that affect the temperature of the planet and what that means for the future of the world. A recent report from the United Nations predicted that average global temperature could increase by 6 Celsius at the end of the century. Climate change has an adverse effect on the environment and ecosystem.
People who intake fast food as a part of their diet or in form of snacks can be found to face depression. Fast foods are filled with harmful carbohydrates, fats and cholesterol that cause more cholesterol to be absorbed in the body and can also lead to heart ailments and heart attacks. The origin of fashion is from the year 1826. Probably everyone believes Charles Frederick to be the first fashion designer of the world. He also established the first fashion house in Paris. Consequently, he began the tradition of fashion houses. Newspapers are one of the most important documents. They can be said to be the powerhouse of information. Moreover, they offer us other benefits as well which helps us in our lives. You become better informed through newspaper reading, and it also broadens your perspective. However, newspaper reading is becoming a dying habit.
It is precisely in observing the intertwinings of success and failure that chasing the flame makes its greatest with piercing insight and relentless logic it reveals the pitfalls of international politics and details an intricate struggle between individual and institution. It haunts us with the poignant truth that even a great man can do only so much to reinvent the world. It is very easy to acquire bad habits, such as eating too many sweets or too much food, or drinking too much fluid of any kind, or smoking etc. The more we do a thing, the more we tend to like doing it. In later stage, if we do not continue to do it, we feel unhappy. This is called the force of habit, and the force of habit should be fought against. Pronunciation is the way in which a word or a language is spoken. This may refer to generally agreed upon sequences of sounds used in speaking a given word or language in a specific dialect correct pronunciation, or simply the way a particular individual speaks a word or language.
Although it hails from a remote region of the western Himalayas, this plant now looks entirely at home on the banks of English rivers and colonized river banks and damp woodlands. In the Himalayas, the plant is held in check by various pests, but take these away and it grows and reproduces now. It is spreading across Europe, New Zealand, Canada, and the U.S. Australian scientists say they have developed pain-free blood sugar testing for diabetics, a non-invasive strip that checks glucose levels via saliva for managing their blood sugar levels typically means pricking their fingers multiple times a day with a lancet and then placing a drop of blood on a testing strip. People who intake fast food as a part of their diet or in form of snacks can be found to face depression. Fast foods are filled with harmful carbohydrates, fats and cholesterol that cause more cholesterol to be absorbed in the body and can also lead to heart ailments and heart attacks. First-year university students have designed and built a groundbreaking electric car that recharges itself. 
Fifty students from the University of Sydney's Faculty of Engineering spent five months working together bits of plywood foam and fiberglass to build the Mango concept car. They developed the specifications and hand-built the car. It's a pretty radical design, a four-wheel drive with a motor in each wheel. These decisions are highly nuanced. Of course, we use a lot of data to inform our decisions, but we also rely very heavily on iteration, research, testing, intuition, and human empathy. Now, sometimes the designers who work on these products are called data-driven, which is a term that totally drives us. The fact is, it would be irresponsible of us not to rigorously test our designs when so many people are counting on us to get it right. In classes, your teachers will talk about topics that you are studying. The information that they provide will be important to know when you take tests. You must be able to take good written notes from what your teachers say. For a democracy to work properly there must be a proper demarcation between the political ideologies. 
However, in India, the demarcation between these ideologies tends to get blurry, thereby resulting in the superimposition of one ideology over the other.